Hey y'all, this is all of Destiny. So you all have been going in on me about this hair, like going in. I wore this hair in my top 10 fragrances video, which was uploaded last week. I've actually been wearing this hair for about two weeks now and you all really love it. So I'm definitely gonna be showing you all start to finish how I style this wig. It is a glueless install. No glue, no gel, no tape, no got to be glue, none of that, but your wig is gonna be secure. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. And thank you all so much for all of your love and support. Okay guys, let's do this. This wig is from Wild African. They sent me over this wig. I worked with them a few times before on my channel. I'll link all of my videos that I've ever done with Wild African down below if you all wanna see different options of wigs. My bad, I'm just snatching it out of the box without showing it. What are you doing, Destiny? Be class. This is how the wig comes in this cute little bag. Like I can fit this in a suitcase better. If I'm going on a vacation, I wanna change my wig every day. Kinda like I did when we went to St. Louis for the Holy Convocation. You get your cash back little booklet, service card, and hair care instructions so you know exactly how to take care of your wigs. They have hair care tips as well as tips for maintaining curly hair, which is important because curly hair is different from straight hair. I love curly hair though, you just kinda wet it and go. A wild African comb, wild African's name on it, and two stocking caps. Our company is seen stocking caps. These come in handy. We're not doing the stocking cap method today. All of the details about this wig will be in my description box down below. The hair color is natural and the length is 20 inches. See exactly how I install my wigs when I want them to look cute, but I don't feel like gluing them down. Really a glueless install. If you all watched my previous wig video, I still am wearing those same braids. Prepare yourselves for this. Y'all wanna see? <laughs> I'm not gonna put any more wild growth oil because I already put some last night. I've done my makeup already, but I want to get it off of my hairline at least. Even though I'm not gluing this down, I don't wanna have any makeup right here. This is just regular alcohol and don't worry about it being on my hairline. I'll be able to reapply some oil tonight if you all feel that it's drying to your scalp. I'll be taking this wig off tonight. That's why I like the method of not gluing them down. I also don't wanna glue this wig down since I just had one glue down for an entire week. I wanna let my scalp breathe. Okay, all of that makeup. You can kind of pin your braids if you want, neaten up your edges and all of that if you want. Oh, I didn't grab everything. And we're back. I'm gonna take my lovely bees, edge control, and I'm just gonna use this to slick my edges back. And I know you may see some flakes in my hair, but I don't wanna take my braids down and wash my hair every time I see a flake. So we're good. Try to keep these braids up for as long as I can without washing my hair a lot. I feel like sometimes we lie and tell ourselves, tell ourselves that our hair needs to be washed way more than what it actually does. I don't know. I feel like my hair does its own thing best when I don't even pay attention to it and it's just doing its own thing. That's how I ended up transitioning and didn't even notice. This is her, straight out of the box. Ooh, she's cute. She is cute. Like I try to think when I'm doing my videos to show you all the way that you all would do it at home for what would help you all more so than just me sitting here putting on my wig and not teaching anything. D size here, let's ask her. Boom, should I co-wash this wig because the curls will pop more or just put it on and wet it? Okay, this size says to wet it. I love that companies are doing this now. It does have the elastic band in the back. This one is removable. It's easy to use because it's like a actual bra strap. But if you're a girl, most likely, you know how to work a bra. You have three little things that you can adjust it. This makes applying your wigs quicker. You get to skip steps. You don't have to sew it on and measure and all of that stuff. Just gonna use some scissors and basically cut off the lace before I apply it. Someone asked me once how much of the lace I cut off. I'm basically cutting right there. I'm not cutting in this area. Area, but I'm cutting like right there. Also the knots are bleached on this wig as well. They are bleached in the front but not the back. So if you would want to pin it up, um, you could either bleach them, put powder on it, use some concealer, lots of different things to hide it. I'm gonna cut off a majority of it in the front but not too much. Basically I can adjust anything I don't like once I get it on. We going to just shut up this. You said you was gonna do a voiceover, you still talking. This is snug, oh my goodness. Yeah, we are not gluing her down, she's snug. The combs are very important when you don't glue your wigs down. Who is this? I'm recording! Put this part in hyperlapse. So do whatever you have to do to get the hair out of your way that you don't want to cut. And I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that hair around my ear. That way I'll be able to push the hair back and you don't actually have lace in the way and then your ear just doesn't exist. And I like to do this while it's on my head. That way I can cut it precisely. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some lighter body foaming lotion and define my curls. When it with this side a little bit, it's dripping on me. I'm glad I'm not like dressed dressed. Sometimes we have to stand up, girl. So 
I'm taking the Organics by Africa's Best Coconut Cream Collection Leave-In Conditioner and I'm just going to apply that along with some water in a spray bottle to the hair. I also stepped off camera to dampen my hair in the sink and now you all can see the difference in before and after. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the comb that Wild Africa provided me and use that to define the center part that was already placed in the wig. Okay, I'm going to go and wet this side the same way in the sink, put my hands under the water, and pour it onto the hair. <laughs> Since I don't have a spray bottle, or I do, this one is just taking forever. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Be right back. Oh, wait. I wish my natural hair looked like this. Yeah, I think my natural hair looked like this, like when it gets really long. Do you know how to hair type your hair? Because I don't hair type mine. Maybe I don't have this curl pattern. I don't know. But for when I want to pretend, I could just pull her out again and be like, yep, my natural hair grew overnight. Overnight! Okay, we need to pluck a little bit. Just a little bit. Since I'm not gluing it down or anything, I don't want to do too much as far as like pulling it all the way back. I'm being lazy. Let me do this in section. I've been on the roll this week, like uploading every Day. I don't know if y'all proud of me. Also, keep in mind I'm not gluing it down, so it's a wig. As I tug on it, you're gonna see it in the back. We're gonna adjust it later, okay? Okay, just tuck the comb back under there. I don't know, I just feel like with it being February, I wanted to do something different on my channel. Randomly wanted to do that just to like give back to y'all. Upload more, you know? Cause I never really had like a schedule to say I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Sometimes I try to have a schedule, but ah, not like a strict one because then I feel like you won't really enjoy. I can't really enjoy YouTube that much where you stressing yourself out about when to upload instead of just uploading this hair looks oh my god so good <laughs> like so good getting the curls to define does not take much at all i'm literally using two products in this brush that i've had for a while but i still haven't taken the tag off of yet i'm a procrastinator oh my god baby oh boy see please Sorry to my headphone users. But yeah, I just want to get back to you all, you know? I feel like most times people kind of make Valentine's Day about a relationship. A boyfriend or a girlfriend. What you say they be saying, boom? I don't got a baby this year, so I guess I spend Valentine's Day with my kids. Like... You don't love your kids? You don't want to get your kids a gift? Like, my mom and them used to give us, like, a little cute... I hate that chocolate. It's nasty. But, like, the smaller box, the smaller little heart box of chocolate. They would give us that... Then we did used to get that either at school. You said what? You did get my... The, our parents bought Boom a camera one year. Some gold earrings another year. Like, it's about whoever you say that you care about. So she don't you don't gotta feel like the bunny chocolate. I, I had that bunny for a long time. Like that big tall bunny girl. <laughs> but yeah, like I don't think it's about it's not about that. It's just about whoever you look. Like if you got a dog, you can get your dog's I'm gifts. Spanish, honey. Treats and stuff. Girl, I look Spanish. <laughs> like <laughs> new hair, who this? New man, I love to see mine. Get you, get, you need this hair for Valentine's Day. Like, I was trying to listen. Give me hair. <laughs> when Bae say he tired of your hair looking the same, he tired of you looking like the same girl. The relationship is over. He want to date this new girl, and you, you step in there like, what pattern? Here she is. If you always wear straight hair, switch it up. Get you some curly hair. He gonna be like, I got a new girl for you. Yeah. Pattern? Um, this pattern is. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Like, if you want a new, listen, you like something new every week, I got you. Like, I don't get it. But you gotta switch it up. Can I switch out the tempo? Switch it up. Can I switch up the tempo? Okay, I'm playing. Let's, let's, let's pluck a little. But yeah, I just want to talk to y'all. I don't like for my videos to always be like so rushed, so quick. YouTube is not about that. I just be wanting to just be here. Be here because we're here. I got some quick videos though. If you, you know, you're trying to be in and out. So it's loose in the back. I just remember because I tucked it, but I did not. Warning, I'm about to take my wig off. I didn't tighten the adjustable straps, and that's very important. My cap sliding back because I snatched it off. Also, another thing which is key when doing glueless applications, you want to be sure to use your adjustable straps in the back of the wig to keep it nice and snug. See how I'm flipping my hair? What I tell y'all last time, my personality change. Every time I have new hair, I'm a different person. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and do a little plucking to the hair. You can do this on your head or on the mannequin stand. I like to do both, but I prefer to do it off of my head because I just got a better feel for it but when you do try it back on you can see where you want to pluck more my technique for this isn't a technique at all I kind of just make a part I just kind of pluck I was trying something different with using the foaming lotion as well definitely not necessary but as far as plucking don't 
pluck too much in one area to where you put a hole in that spot. I'll show you all um, in the video how much hair I plucked out. It's going to look like a big old hairball, but trust me, <laughs> it's not a lot at all. I definitely could have plucked more, but for the look that we're doing with just wearing a center part, this was enough. If I was going to do some sort of half up or half down, I would have definitely plucked more, which eventually I will. I decided to go ahead and wash the wig since I had done all of that plucking. I, I feel that it helps to bring all of the hair together a bit more. So some can say I may have waste product, but I mean at least you all got to see that it's definitely possible to define the curls straight out of the box. Washing or conditioning the curls definitely give you a head start when applying your product since the hair is already Ooh, I wet. I didn't get water on the camera. Wanna wear this? Yeah, it's kind. <laughs> Dominique's trying to take my wig. But I want a ponytail at the top. Ponytail at the top. Yeah. My first YouTube package. Nice. Nick just got her first YouTube package. No, I need first to borrow YouTube it because package. I'm about to film a fragrance video, so I'm gonna need a wig to wear. <laughs> no, I already prepped this one. I don't want to start prepping another wig, Nick. So if you all see my fragrance video, just know. I feel that I'm better able to mold my wig into my scalp when the lace is wet. I don't want to do too much with the baby hair. That's why I plucked a lot. Even when you think you plucked enough, you can pluck more and it won't even look like you plucked a lot. So we're using that same lot of body foaming mousse to get the hairline to lay in place. Going to take some of the got to be free spray. Even though we're not gluing it down, this just helps me to kind of keep that lace in place. To bring out the parting space, I'm using my Black Radiance Press Powder. This one matches my skin tone. Then I'm kind of doing that all over. Also taking some of my Lovely Bees Edge Control and just working that into the hairline as well. You can use the back side of your brush or a comb to kind of press the lace into your skin. Still not gluing it down, but we're doing techniques with hair products to just kind of hold the lace in place for the day. This keeps it from sticking down, and I like this method because once I do get home at night, I can remove my wig, and I don't have to worry about sleeping in it. Go ahead and take this wrap strip that I purchased from the beauty supply store and just let that kind of sit on the hairline while we define the curls even more using some leave-in conditioner and just a few other products. That's the hair, by the way plucked a lot but it definitely still does not look like it. I went to the beauty supply store and I purchased eco style gel and finally a spray bottle so each day following this video if you all see me on Instagram on my story that's what I've been doing to it just eco style gel and water. Not so thick. I put the wig on and it was mm, smells good. <laughs> Thank you. It's a lovely wig. Bone said it's a lovely wig, and Dominique said she wants to have it. So if you all only see me in this wig a few times, <laughs> my sister stole it. <laughs> I'm gonna quit touching the hair now and go ahead and remove the. Oh, it's already coming off. But I didn't have that at the time when I filmed this video. But you all can still see that using whatever products you have can help you to bring out the curls as long as it's some form of leave-in conditioner and your favorite types of gel or jam or foaming lotion. That's pretty much it for the hair guys. That's how I do my glueless installs. I do these often when I'm wearing my wigs. I really don't glue them down that much. I guess I don't title my videos to where you know it's like a glueless install. I'll link a few of those other ones in my description box down below for you all. Special thank you to Wild African for sponsoring this video. If you were in my DMs, in my comments, wherever asking me about this hair, I hope you all enjoyed and watched this video. The questions and comments, leave all of that down below and I will talk to you all in my next video. Be sure to click on my cute little face to subscribe to my channel and click on the cards to check out more videos and I will talk to you all in my next upload.